Once you've finished your news package, you'll want to share it with potential viewers. One avenue for your work is public access television. This consists of a series of channels provided by cable services that allow community members to broadcast their original content via cable. Public access television is not the same thing as PBS. The latter is a highly curated network, whereas public access television was built to allow anyone to voice their opinions. The mechanisms for obtaining airtime to broadcast your packages vary by location. Check with your local cable provider to see what you'll need to do to get your stories on the air. You can also upload your news package to the internet. To do that, you'll want to create an account on an online video hosting service. There are several different services that you can use. The most well-known service is YouTube, which tends to have the most viewers. Dailymotion is another alternative to YouTube, where it can be easier to get featured due to the smaller number of submissions. Vimeo is another service which focuses on more creative content than YouTube, and often has more constructive feedback from viewers as well. Blip.tv is a video platform that is geared toward web series, which is perfect if you're interested in reporting on a regular basis, and also includes some tools that help you promote your work. There are numerous other services out there, but these are some of the major ones. You don't have to choose only one, by the way. You can upload your videos to all of these services to get the most exposure online. Since these websites are frequently changing their uploading procedures, a how-to tutorial for uploading by site would quickly become out of date. Search online for more information if you're unsure how to upload a video to one of these sites. If you're only planning on using one service, check out each individual website to see what specialized features they offer for video uploaders. Here are some features that you might want to look for. If your camera can shoot in HD, you'll want to make sure that the video hosting service that you're using supports it. Otherwise, your videos won't look as clear or sharp online as they do on your home computer. Certain sites have a limit as to how much data you can upload each week. If you plan to post stories daily or more than once a week, find out if the site has a weekly limit or if it's unlimited to make sure you're not surprised later on when you've reached your upload limit for the week. Certain sites have restrictions on how long your video clip can be. These restrictions usually range from 10 to 20 minutes in length, which should be enough to post individual packages. However, if you're interested in posting longer videos in the future, such as uncut footage, you should look for a site with the longest time restriction. Some video hosting sites also have analytical software that can tell you who's viewing your videos, when they're viewing them, where they're coming from, and so on. This is not very useful when you're starting out, but as you gain more viewers, you'll be able to see important trends that tell you what your viewers are like and what they're interested in. This will allow you to adjust your reporting accordingly. There are some video hosting sites that also provide advertising revenue based on how many people view your video. If you opt in, these sites will play small text ads over your video or short video ads before your video. You don't need to worry about finding advertisers. The site will do it for you. However, you'll need to get thousands, sometimes millions, of viewers before you'll see any money. Now that your videos are available to be seen, you need to let people know about them. There are a number of different ways to spread the word about your videos. The easiest way is through word of mouth. Tell your friends, families, coworkers, anyone you know about your program, and ask them to spread the word. A little talking can go a long way. Print out flyers and post them on community bulletin boards around town. Posters can be a great way to attract attention. If you're a member of Facebook, Twitter, or some other social network, you can tell people about your story through those platforms. Provide a link to your work if it's posted online to make it easier for people to find it. Certain popular websites, including Facebook and Google, offer the ability to buy ads at a reasonable price that target an audience who might be interested in your work. If you have a bit of money and really want your stories to reach more people, it might be worthwhile to invest in some ads. Now that you've completed the entire process of creating a news package from start to finish, you'll probably want to improve your technique. You can do this by taking advantage of additional resources beyond this series of videos. There are many online sites that provide advanced tips and tricks for becoming a better citizen journalist. They also allow you to connect and network with other citizen journalists from across the globe. Check these websites or search online for more information. Citizen journalism is an important asset to local communities. 
It provides alternate viewpoints and supplementary information, and allows people to participate in the discourse of news that is going on around them. I hope that this series of videos has helped you to better understand what citizen journalism is about, and given you the tools to participate in the discussion yourself.